ever since I started this content creation YouTube journey, I've always been obsessed with colors and the composition and making my videos look cinematic. Now, one of the main issues I had when I started shooting videos for my YouTube channel was color grading my videos. At first, I had no idea what color grading was and I thought that maybe it was something for the professionals and I ignored it for a few years until I started using Premiere Pro. Yes, I didn't start my YouTube journey with a professional video editing software, like most of us anyways. So when I started using Premiere Pro, I started to mess around and tweak in the color grading tab. In Premiere Pro, it's called Lumetri and Scopes or something like that. Yeah. And from there, I've always messed around with the stock um, creative lots that Premiere Pro had built in. And for a while, I didn't understand the difference between a Rec. 709 video and a log profile video so i normally just throw my camera or my phone out in normal mode capture some videos drop them in premiere pro edit export and upload to youtube until i got my panasonic lumix g7 and it had a profile called cine like yes cine like and it's it's not as flat as log profile, but it was in between log profile and normal profile. So it gave me a it gave me a wider room to color my videos more than what I would have if I was shooting in normal mode. Because in normal mode, if you do too much to your footage, they would start falling apart. You would see grains, artifacts, false color, and stuff you wouldn't normally see in videos if they were just normal and over the years the journey with watching other professional creators on the platform um, listening to persons around me who shoot videos professionally and even upgrading my camera from my lovely g7 to a panasonic lumix s5 i got the opportunity to explore 10-bit color because i didn't even know colors and videos came in bits. I only know that from Photoshop when I was making posters when you have 8-bit and 16-bit. I didn't know there were 8-bit, 10-bit, 16-bit things with videos as well. And the Lumix S5 was a 10-bit camera, which means I had a wider space to tweak with my colors and make adjustments than I did with my G7. I now had Vlog, which is Panasonic's log flat profile which gave me a more flat blank slate blank canvas to do my painting and color correction and tweaking and that widened my horizon way more than what it was when i just started my video editing journey and posting videos on youtube and i am very grateful and i've learned a lot along the way trust me i've learned a lot that flat videos they may work nice when you're color grading but those files are huge and they will also pressure your computer so ensure you have a nice good performing computer when tackling flat profile videos and 10 bit and 10 bit videos but some of the perks the perks and pros will always outweigh the cons when you're improving and getting better footage to make your content stand out more on youtube because since then i've had the chance to get more professional work done my videos have improved drastically people have been seeing the growth in my work and brands and companies have started to reach out to me to do collaboration allowing me to be affiliate brand sponsorship so on and so forth and a big part of this whole color grading and enhancing the color of my videos a big part of this was me learning about lots and how exactly lots worked because before i would shoot the videos in raw and then color grade it from scratch right up to the finished product but after a while i learned that there were conversion lots which converted the log profile to rec 709 and then there were creative lots which gave it a creative look to tell whatever story it is that you're telling or to give it whatever look you want the video to look like 
So even this video that I'm capturing right now, this is captured in Vlog, flat log profile. This is before adding the conversion lot, and this is after adding the conversion lot from Gamut. And that helped to cut my color grading time from maybe one hour to 15 minutes. And that was a mind-blowing milestone in the whole video editing, color grading and content creation workflow for me because if I was taking one hour to color grade, color correct a video, it is now taking me 15 minutes because I now convert from log profile to Rec 709, then from Rec 709 with the creative lot I have or any creative look I want to give to the video and then voila! I'm practically done and I can move on to maybe some other editing or export to post it. And that was an amazing change in my color grading and color workflow. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm still learning though. I'm still looking up new techniques, figuring out new processes to color my videos. I'm also trying to learn DaVinci Resolve because as I mentioned before, I edit in Premiere Pro. So I want to learn DaVinci Resolve because everyone says it's the best for color grading. And I want to experience that for myself before I jump on the train and say it's the best when I don't really explore other things to see if it's really the best and a sh special shout out to Gamut um, they were the first company to reach out to me they're a lot color pack how do I put this they're a colorist they they make lots <laughs> they make lots lot pack they make base lots conversion lots creative lots you name it for Sony Canon DJI Panasonic I use Panasonic and they also have creative lots to give your videos stylized looks and to maybe set your videos apart from the average normal look. So if you want to get a more creative look on your videos without having the stress to color grade, you can always go over to Gamut's website. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you want to improve your color grading skills and be a better colorist, I myself is not a professional colorist. I have watched a lot of other professional YouTubers and add whatever it is that they do to make their videos pop to my workflow to help my videos to pop, pop as well. And as I said earlier, I want to try DaVinci Resolve to add that DaVinci effect to my videos. I'm Siobhan Beckford and if you found this video insightful as it relates to coloring your videos to give it that more cinematic look, please hit that subscribe button so I can send a notification to you whenever I release another video like this. Also hit the like button so the algorithm can like me some more and push my videos to other viewers, new viewers and to also make them new subscribers to my channel. Signing out guys, remember subscribe to the channel or your videos will look ugly.